Virgo. <clears throat> welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not be for you. Um, all signs are welcome. So if you are not a Virgo Sun, but you have pla Virgo placement elsewhere, you can definitely <clears throat> try to get something out of this reading. Okay. Virgo, we're going to take a look at love going into May. We are in May. Oh my goodness. Happy May 1st, everybody. And <clears throat> yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And um, yeah, do uh, think about subscribing or becoming a member of my channel where you can pop in my live streams on Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern, and you can ask a bazillion questions and I will give you answers tarot answers okay so let's get into this Virgo what is going on okay first card out of the deck you have coffee cup meeting and conversing uh, savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship okay very nice so meeting somebody I see you meeting somebody Virgo in uh, May having coffee, talking, savoring a moment with someone special, Virgo. Let's take a look and we'll get in and see if we can figure out who that is, okay? Definitely meeting someone for coffee. All right, and you have soulmate. Wow, Virgo. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So, Virgo, connecting with a soulmate. Okay. Oh, gosh, Virgo, you also have Twin Flame, Yin Yang, Zen Balance, Union. So there's something complementing each other. There might be something here where you connect with someone. Um, this person might be traveling by boat or coming from distance. Um, from a distance, there might be a question, is this my soulmate or my Twin Flame? And um, some of you moving on. Um, from some closure issues okay so is this somebody new Virgo let's get into this and see what's going on here Virgo let me just get a couple of romance angels <clears throat> see what else is going on here for you Virgo ooh la la love is in the air okay you've got free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so some of you are moving on from a past relationship, meeting someone or meeting up with someone. And some of you are just, you could be reconnecting. That's a very small percentage of you could be reconnecting with someone from before. Okay. So you also have true love and you've got flirt. Okay, Virgo. Looks like you're going to have a nice May. <laughs> Looks like you're going to be connecting with someone in May flirting feeling free freeing yourself to connect with another person um, I don't know it's really not telling me if this is an actual soulmate or a twin flame but I think going forward you will be connecting and asking that question from someone okay is this is this you know what kind of relationship is this all right let's get into the tarot and see what messages there are here for you all right, what does Virgo need to know going forward with this person that they're going to be connecting with? Okay. <clears throat> well, I can tell you it's going to be a surprise. You're going to be crazy surprised. Um, I feel like... Let me just see here before I move forward. Virgo, I feel like there's definitely love coming in. And this could be someone that offered you love before. Okay. There's definitely a gift. Someone's bringing you a gift as well. But I, you know, Virgo, it just kind of feels like someone's coming in here. And I'm just hearing, I don't want to miss a thing. Um, they've, this person feels like this, if they don't... They're telling me, um, 
I'm hearing this this person. It could be a water sign. It could be an earth sign. I'm hearing this person say, "I don't want to miss this opportunity again in my life." Okay, so this seems like a really big opportunity. This person showing up, seeing, connecting with you, meeting with you is. They may have missed out on opportunities for love in the past, and it looks like now, you know, um, taking the opportunity to connect with you. Do you know them? I don't know. Um, well, it could be somebody new because we do have the Ace of Pentacles here. But if you did know them before, there might have been some missed opportunities to um, cultivate some type of a relationship. But it looks like overall, it feels like there's going to be some communication from this person. Um, I do see someone here though, Virgo. The energy is like, this person is um, really like, baby, I'm amazed by you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. Could be another Virgo. Um, this person seems to me like they're in this position of like really doing, a, they've done a lot of, okay, Virgo Mercury retrograde got me and I was recording and, um, I thought I was <laughs> and it cut off so I kept going but anyway I'll keep going so as I was saying this person seems like they've done a lot of reflection but I feel like this person is getting the courage up they're pretty much a loner they keep to themselves I feel like they're getting the courage up to um, approach you I do feel like this person is tremendously curious about you and about what could happen what the future could hold but I also felt like this person has a lot of anxiety or stress. Um, they let their thoughts get the best of them. I feel like this person has been through it in the past in relationships. They've been, you know, broke, busted, and disgusted in relationships, but I feel like they're healing and there will be some type of communication coming from this person. Now, I will tell you, Virgo, this this is definitely a question of whether this is a twin flame or a soulmate. At this point, I don't think this person is questioning that. There's the lovers is here, and I feel like this person's going to approach you and tell you that uh, this is what they're seeking, a long-term partnership, sacred union, and also um, they want it with you. And if you knew them before, Virgo, I feel like this person has a lot of regrets um, when love came, they just were so, I don't know, down about a past situation or stuck in the past and living in regret and remorse about something, some maybe a relationship that didn't work out or something that didn't work out with you. I feel like this person could not turn around and see, you know, um, the happily ever after. And it feels to me like, yeah, this person is pretty much like, no, some, they have like this light bulb moment. Okay, so you're definitely going to be connecting with someone in May. Okay, and like I said in the beginning, the question is, is this my soulmate or is this a twin flame? Let's take a look at you. Okay, Virgo, so obviously you have the seven of wands. Um, so you're... Uh, you're protecting your heart. And I saw the three of swords at first. Um, I didn't pull it though. I, I, I feel like you, you're protecting your heart. Okay. Um, you've been through a lot of changes and transitions in your life and, um, you're not trying to have another failed relationship. So you're being, it looks like you're just protecting your heart. Maybe you've had some heartbreak in the past with someone. Um, somebody cut you off or there was like this just horrible, um, verbal attacks and things like that and i feel like you're kind of being very cautious and you know giving a little pushback to anyone um just because you know you touch the stove you get burned you're more careful touching that stove again so i i don't blame you virgo i really don't okay yeah so ten of swords here Look at that. Something ended in the past and something seriously ended. Or you might have ended something in the past that just was not a good, healthy relationship. You know, and, and you've surrendered and, you know, you're trying to... I see you here looking at the horizon. You know, it's not all bleak. 
you know um you bottomed out somewhere in the past and but you're still hopeful but you're you're protecting yourself okay so i mean virgo i just feel like whoever this person is coming forward it's crazy because we don't have any court cards yet um let me see you've got the six of swords what's going on virgo okay yeah, you're, listen, Virgo, your, your whole thing is like, I'm getting out of this poverty mindset. So that's good. You're, um, you've been, you've been to the circus. You've seen the puppet show. You're not trying to, you, but you're protecting yourself. You're not trying to get, you got out of a bad situation. Okay. That was just a struggle, a struggle, the fives uncertainty. You, and you've got, you know, the six here, which is basically the same as saying, you know, appreciating yourself taking responsibility for yourself and moving moving on and getting out of the negativity so you know virgo i i feel like you're ready you know to some degree um because you're guarding your heart so you'll yeah look you've got peace you're in a place now where you can you know everything comes into harmony balance peace you, you're tempered which is good you're not reactive um, I see you being very well balanced in May about what you want. You're able to make good decisions in May, which is great. Sagittarius energy, Gemini, uh, Death card Scorpio, uh, Leo, Virgo here. Let me see. Any court cards so Virgo can kind of get an idea of maybe specifically who this is. If they don't want to tell you. And they don't want to tell you okay yeah i don't really feel okay well for some of you it is past person um and for others it's just a friend who suddenly has an interest a romantic interest in you um i don't really feel like this is somebody you don't know virgo we have cancer the chariot um somebody that you knew i feel like this or somebody that you know yeah, you know who this person is. Okay, I'll tell you that. This person's coming towards you. They want to, you know, reunite with you or have some kind of reunion. Any court cards for Virgo? Okay. <laughs> no, they don't want you. They want you to intuit this one. <laughs> That's all I can say. You know, and Virgo, you, you know, I, I feel like this person just wants to have some kind of start something. You want to be started something. Got to be. So, uh seven of pentacles here it's like yeah should i should i not virgo i mean i feel like you're some of you are willing to reconnect with someone or connect with with a friend um uh, there might be like an uncomfortableness about it because you're friends so it might be like hmm should i or shouldn't i there might be there is not might be i mean this three of pen uh, three of cups is a card of friendship so there could be someone in your friend group or you could have a friend introducing you to someone that they know you know um there's there's an under there's a knowing about who this person is you either know them directly or indirectly okay uh all right let me see i'm gonna ask just a couple more times and hopefully my battery doesn't die okay for some of you this is someone who's been in prison literally or figuratively okay so of course the king of swords is here he always wants to show up all right so Virgo, I know some of you are just like, I'm not getting back with that King of Swords, and that's fine. Um, you have free will, and you can do what you want here. Um, this doesn't have to be your past person. Like I said, this could be somebody new coming in who is connected to someone you know or someone in your friends group that you've never been in a romantic partnership with. Okay? So, yeah, there's whoever this person is, they have a thing for you, Virgo. I mean, they are smitten they have like a, a cute little kitty crush on you okay king of swords is someone who is very heady um they, they're very intentional they're strategic they're thought provoking um they're they're very with it in their head of like like in reality so to speak um very self-sufficient and absolutely honest um sometimes it could be flaky depending on the sign i, don't, I can't I know air signs are known to be flaky, <laughs> but that might be more um, the feminines. It's not a bad thing. It's just that they, um, 
they're very uh, active in the mind, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They have very active minds, so they kind of flip from one thing to the next. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I do feel like somebody here overall, um, if you knew them before, they're like missing you like crazy and they're going to try again to reconnect and see if you guys can start over. If you didn't know them before in a romantic partnership, but you knew them as a friend or it's someone that gets introduced to you through friends, it's still the same message. This person is very intentional with what they're looking for and they're definitely interested like they're watching you they're they're looking to see what your life is like or what you're up to what you're doing um they're looking to see if you have anybody or you know if you're completely single let's see what your messages of love are okay all right a couple of similar messages here so you have here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Okay, Virgo? So, yep, there you go. You also have go slow, take time to get to know each other. Very important. You have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson, and I feel like you have Virgo. Um, children are important to this partnership, and there's also rejection. Okay, so there might have been, if you knew them before, uh, there was a rejection that took place. Um, it was divinely guided it was pr to protect you um, and also something might come up about children somebody wanting to know if you have children or wanting to have children seems to be like a real crucial um, aspect of a relationship to come forward wow I just found the queen of uh, pentacles sitting here so some of you like I said could be th this could be you right? Just showing up in your reading and saying, hey, I'm here. I'm going to acknowledge myself now. Or it's um, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, so if you knew this person in the past, I want to see what their, what their energy is towards you. What is this? Ghosted and blocked? Why, why are these in here? Hmm, why is that in there? Okay. If you knew them before, the, you, this might be somebody that you ghosted or that you blocked. Okay, victory, recognition, applause, and a lustful, fiery spirit. So that might have been. You might have blocked them because they were just chasing after the SEX and trying to, like, get some notches in their bedpost. And you, it looks like, Virgo, you might have thought that or that was really true if you knew them before and you might have just said, that's it. Look, Virgo, this person is crazy attracted to you. Like, seriously, I feel like this person thinks you're like an angel. Um... There's something very unique and special about you. They are so attracted to you. I see. Oh, a whole bunch of cards fell. Okay. Let's not lose our... This person loves you unconditionally, but they hide behind material things. They hide. This person's a hider. And you are the best thing in my life. And I hope you can forgive me one day. I feel like this person really wants to try to gain your forgiveness and uh, make amends and try to have something new or just can we start over that's what i'm hearing can we start again okay so let me get a couple of extra moon pie tarot cards because we did have one fly out there what does virgo need to know here and you guys this isn't going to go on too too long because mama virgo is tired today okay so you've got test of faith and boundaries fear and anxiety all right virgo so i feel like for you um your fears are definitely going to get the best of you and your anxieties in regards to this situation but it is a test of faith to see if you can overcome your fears about um, maybe falling in love again or having a new beginning with someone but you do have a new chapter ahead of you here in may i keep saying may and i said may 10th and i'm probably gonna make that known in the caption here but there's something magical happening around may 10th and we are in the mercury retrograde still so obviously the past does tend to come back not always not for everybody but you know this ain't this energy might be playing out here for you okay let me see your let's see if we can figure out maybe the chinese sign of this person you or this person I know some of you say, you know, I come back and I listen to the reading and I keep saying the same thing, but nothing happens. Well, understand that 
the message just may not be for you, even if it resonates. You'll know if the reading's for you when it happens, okay? When you can come back in here and say, hey, that reading you gave, that absolutely was for me because it actually materialized, okay? We have Year of the Tiger, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Snake, Year of the Horse, Tiger again, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Rabbit, and Year of the Goat, okay? So that could be you, it could be your person, it could be this new person, which you wouldn't know yet until you, unless you ask. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. We'll get a couple of um, extra messages here. Some names and some other random messages. Let's have some initials. What initials do we have here for Virgo? Okay, so the letter G. Somebody has a G. It's either the first name or the last name. Okay. We have an A. Letter A. Somebody's initials are AA. Uh, or somebody's in AA. Okay, we have an M, as in Michael or Mary. We have an R. Okay. Mm. Somebody's name is Michelle but spells it M-E-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, or like Michelle. Okay, I have a letter H. Somebody drives a Hemi. I don't know what that is. They just said someone drives a Hemi. Um, and we have initials H-G, H-G, okay. All right. And then we've got the letter G-U, like goo, goo, G-U. Okay. Um, I just heard U University of Arizona. Is that, a, is that a place? Is that a college? University of Arizona? Don't know for sure. Um, somebody also really, really is, okay, they're giving me, so I can't, I can't tell. It's either guacamole I'm hearing somebody really likes guacamole or is eating it or just something to do with Guatemala. Gua guacamole or Guatemala? We'll just say guac. <laughs> okay. Um, Gucci. They're giving me Gucci now. Okay. University of California. I don't even know. I'm saying these and I have no idea if these are things or actual things okay somebody um does something on a microphone <laughs> some of you are uh licking on the microphone <laughs> i'm being a five-year-old okay university of michigan um, why do all these colleges keep showing up here okay and someone's drinking something out of a mug right now or having a coffee or a tea or maybe a mug root beer or having some kind of drink from a mug okay and all right we have the letter p letter j we have a c cg cg okay and yeah letter p two initials uh, pp or someone is um turning some pages of a book or just making notes in a notebook maybe studying oh speak that's why speaking of which i do believe i saw uh or a little birdie told me that jason was graduating and if everyone knows who jason is shout out to jason for big congratulations for graduating Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for you, Jason. And let's get your dice. Okay, let's see. We've got Libra, Aries. Libra and Aries. Oh my gosh. Libra, Aries. Very strong. Okay, we have September 3rd, September 7th, September 10th, September 8th, September 6th, and the 12th. Okay, um, we also have someone's born in 73. We have 87. Okay, 
Okay, Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries again. Also Scorpio. Okay, so August 23rd, August 24th, and August 29th. Okay, um, so they're giving me the, these roads. Now they're saying um, uh, 810, 810, I guess it is. Um, Two zero two one zero. Um, they're telling me route thirty two. I don't know if that's a route route highway thirty two, maybe. Um, I'm one oh nine and two ten. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, phone number is 3115-8008. Uh, they're giving me 911. <laughs> Hope nobody's having to call 911. And somebody is 39 years of age. And we're also getting um, November 8th and August 9th. And, um, hmm, so five o'clock, five o'clock, I don't know if it's PM or AM, but five o'clock is going to be a significant time. Okay, five o'clock, five PM or five AM. You might wake up from a dream or you might get a, a special important call that will be very significant or something happens at the five hour. Okay, so keep that in the back of your mind about what that might be. Uh, Taurus, Aquarius, twice, Capricorn. Anyone else? Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Aries. Okay, so let's get a couple of charms, and I'm going to bed. I don't know about you guys, but this retrograde has been killing me. It's been really draining. <laughs> Wow, that is, there's so much craziness right now attached to what I'm just about to show you. You guys, I said in the reading that this person thinks that you're like some kind of an angel from up above. Didn't you hear me say that? Well, the two charms that came were two angels. So unless you have some kind of a connection to your angels or... Um, you are just an angel fan maybe the angels isn't that a baseball team um whatever it is th there's something here to do with angels your angels watching over you there's a there's a child angel watching over you or is very special to you in your life um feels like a child but also that yeah it's so true this person they just think that you are like sent from heaven like you are something very unique and special someone very unique and special to them or they will be understanding that going forward in may and you know what virgo if you don't think you are i'm gonna come over there and kick you because you very much are someone very special and unique so i'm gonna leave your reading there i'm sorry it was kind of short but i'll catch up with you guys a little longer tomorrow and um yeah that's gonna be it so have a great night and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care